Hello, this is Torior, and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis for as Catholic Ottomans. We currently, mm, we are currently conquering Vajrayanaga. Mm, yeah, and after that, I have some stuff planned in Europe. We will vassalize electors and get elected emperor again. They do like us slightly. I am almost sure I could get votes from Ansbach and Frankfurt, possibly from Pomerania. Let me see, if I max our relations with an alliance, would you accept an alliance? Possibly. That would be three votes for me. And then I could squash the Palatinate, getting some... losing them something. Hmm. Could work, but doesn't have to work. We could try getting four alliances. Pomerania, Hess, Frankfurt and Ansbach, and that should secure us the Imperial vote. Or we could do it through vassalizing. We already do have improved relations. How much does alliance give? 30. So it, in total it gives 80. Alliances will be enough to get those two votes. Hmm. Our relations are improved by 67. Could I get royal marriages as well? Yeah, I think royal marriage gives 25, right? Oh, and plus 10, so that's 35 for royal marriage. Mm, we could get some for guarantees and gifts. Yeah, I think it's possible. We'll try it. And if it doesn't work, I'll start vassalizing people. We will go over our Diplo rep limit, but uh, that is understandable and not a problem at all. Okay, where is my awesome general? Here. Yeah, she's busy. Alright, let's um, use all those troops to, con to kill this army. Even though they don't have a general. Here, I have this one. Siege of Mysore. I still need to wait for the course to finish. Oh, no, they just finished. Yark Interpretist, really? Oh, I think I need a um, Theologian. We prefer level 3, but uh, that will get rid of some of my revolt risk. Most of it, actually. Oh, we can pass a decision. Abolition of Slavery. Gain prestige and cheaper technology, but worse missionaries. Oh, worse missionaries are temporary. Um, sure, let's be the good guys. Yay, Slavo slavery abolished in provinces that produced slaves. Yes, yes, here as well. Maybe we'll get some good, good, some nice goods. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of those, right? Let's just let them trigger. Or do I have to click it to have the next one trigger? Oh, yeah, attack. Castile is still fighting them. Truce with Lanana has expired. Yes, yeah, they were abolished, I know. I heard you the first time. <laughs> this is pissing me off. Mm, Aragon's still a chance. So how long until I can sign a peace treaty with Vijayanagar? Let's see. Mm, let's say I'll connect my lands like that. It's all zero points right now. Oh, you know what? Let's uh, take lowest overextension provinces. As much as we can. Like that. That's a little bit too much. All right. Let's um. Hmm. Let's take one more expensive thing and disable two cheaper things. Like for example here, take Golconda and cancel this and. Okay, that cancelled the other one because I can't core it. Right, that will be exactly 100% of extension. Can core everything. Okay. Give me money. And that's it. Ottomans everywhere. And this time I do have the points to core everything. Yay, wonderful. Uh, let's see if I can 
increase autonomy in any of those provinces. Uh, in the sum of them, let's do it where we can, so that the revolt risk doesn't get too high. Okay. Mm and here. And here. Right. Hmm, we'll need to get some of our troops to Europe, but we do not have military access. I could get it through Ryazan. I don't think they hate me anymore. So, yeah. Hmm, we could feed them to Lithuania, I suppose. For now, I might want to try the, um, the alliances and things. Since we are no longer at war, it will be a possibility. So, who will we want to ally? One, two, three, four people. I'm not sure if they will accept alliances, because... I mean, they all will, but... Um, you know what, I will send all the diplomats simultaneously. On the same day and see what happens. Yeah, slavery abolished, good. Also, all my, all my troops are stuck in here. Ah, you can stay here for now. I will try some diplomatic stuff for now, so let's reduce army maintenance. See if I can get the votes diplomatically. If not, we'll be conquering stuff. Uh, trading in slaves, no longer. So, yeah, four free diplomats. Let's try establishing alliances with all those people. We, I think we should be able to get the votes. Accepted, 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 accepted. Okay, how are we doing on the votes? Very close now, very close. Okay, now we need royal marriages. Yes, we accept. That's two. Uh, Hess will be the most problematic. Hess will be the most problematic. How can I do that? How can I deal with you? Huh. I need to break their alliance with the Palatinate. I need to attack the Palatinate while they are in another war helping me. Maybe I can attack someone outside the Empire. Like France. Although they will probably be, well, not very inclined to help me. Help me. Oh, it's changed. Good. Uh, royal marriage. Yes, and royal marriage. We already have one, and we already have one. Okay. Uh, we have one vote currently. Mm, Tunisian rebellions, again rebellions. Uh, Tunis and Tatooine. Which sounds exactly like the planet. Okay, Tunis itself, here we go. I will enable the fort. Increase army maintenance. And it will be dealt with. Alright, what missions are those? Nothing super interesting. Okay, so we will easily get the vote from you. You'll be more problematic. Hmm. Diplorep. Oh, I will get more Diplorep. That will help slightly. Imperial authority is zero. This is understandable. Legitimacy minus... F oh, my legitimacy is not four. Why? Oh, all the royal marriages. Yeah, of course. Let's increase our legitimacy with the papal stuff. That will help slightly. So legitimacy will be another 18 points. And relations... Uh, that's still not enough. Still not enough. We need to make them hate Palatinate. Which we can probably do by dragging them into war with Palatinate. If I attack you, will my allies... Oh, they will help me! Gallia Brabant, Mincer and Hess. Mm, Brabant, Gallery. Oh wait, the, it's it's who will join them. Uh, sorry again. Pomerania will not join. Will not join. None of them will join. That will only make me fight my allies. Who do you people hate? What if I attacked like uh, Thuringia? Mm, Ansbach would join. But Ansbach is not the problem. Pomerania and Hesse are. 
Hess hates Nassau and Münster. Nassau and Münster. And Pomerania hates Mecklenburg. If I attack Mecklenburg, Pomerania would uh, not join? Oh, they're threatened. Maybe we can... We can... Get them to be friendly. In time. If it doesn't work, we'll just lose some points on that and move on. To other ways of uh, doing things. Mm, should I guarantee everyone on this list? Yes, I think I should. Influence actions. And proclaim guarantees everywhere. Proclaim guarantee. One. Two. It'll give us a little bit of, uh, of uh, relations. Let's wait until the first of the month. Okay. Mm, almost half Frankfurt's vote. We can get it by sending them gifts. Hess will be the biggest problem. Because that gives us three votes. We need four. How old is the Emperor? 41. Not that old. Hmm. I need them to be... Oh, I need them to become this honorable emperor. If I attack someone, I didn't, they don't come to their aid. Who do you hate, Mr. Emperor? Palatinate. Bohemia. If I attack Bohemia... Palatinate will not help. Which means they will become this honorable emperor. Yes, and we will get bonuses for being in the same war. All right, I think I found my way of doing this. They will lose relations with everyone, which should be sufficient to actually get with them. But first, let's send gifts to everyone, just to make sure that we have good relations. Mm, I know we're at 200, I'm just, need, I'm just making sure. Could also transfer trade power and give them military access. Yeah, let's do all this. Ansbach, Frankfurt. Everyone. So now we need to work on damaging their relations with... Oh, you're rich, Pomerania. With the Palatinate. Okay, wait a month. Oh, the Palatinate was at war with Bohemia. That's why didn't, they didn't want to. Hmm. I wonder if stuff will change now. No, they still... They still will not join. Also, I think they just annexed something, which would mean they get a bit of aggressive expansion. A little bit. Okay, now I need um, to give them military access. Just to make sure they like me. You only have two votes. Oh, you already have military access. Okay, so you will transfer trade power to me. That will improve our relations a little bit. Okay. And now, as soon as we can send the diplomats again, we will demand transfer trade power from the rest of them. And after that, we will declare war. Transfer trade power. Everyone, give it to me. Just for relations. I don't really care about the trade power itself. Need you to like me. Okay, massive manipulations. Yeah, a revolt is being quelled. Whoops. We're not there yet. Almost made it in time. Okay, let's send you down here. And see, we could attack Bohemia, and Palatinate hates Bohemia, so they won't help them, making them dishonorable. Ansbach and Frankfurt would join us, Pomerania would not, and neither would Hess. Pomerania is threatened and they are out with the Holy Roman Emperor. Hmm, maybe they, maybe if I attack somebody else. Mm, Bavaria, what about Bavaria? 
Mm, also, those who want not to join, Frankfurt would join, which is unfortunate because we're allies. Seems like Bohemia is the best choice, but let's check. I think they had the third rival. Uh, Magdeburg. Hess. Hess would join them, which is unfortunate. Alright, we go for Bohemia then. Um, need to enable the fort. I well, could make a client state, I don't want to, but I could. And they are allied with uh, Poland and Lindbergh. Alright, Poland means I need to enable the force in this area. Alright. Oh, 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 um, if I could... If you are allied with Lindbergh. Lindbergh? Is Lindbergh an elector? No. Is Lindbergh allied with an elector? Bohemia, Frankfurt, Oldenburg and Pomerania. Frankfurt and Pomerania. Getting into war with Pomerania would be problematic. Mm, don't want to do that. Okay, we'll see how much this uh, this honorable Emperor Malice will do. Okay, Poland and Lindbergh are called in. Oh, who is Poland allied with, anyway? Bohemia, Magdeburg, Münster and Pomerania. Bohemia, Magdeburg, Münster. All right, Münster. We could break Münster's relationship with uh, Latinid. Also, we'll get some points for legitimacy when it starts coming in. Less stability count? Trust. We don't have trust. Okay, we'll see. When Palatinate refuses to defend them, it should actually do something. Let's call in everyone we can. Maybe not Scandinavia. Not Aragon, definitely. Okay, this should be sufficient. I don't really have any troops in this area, but I, I don't think I need them. Lithuania and Austria should do everything for us. Mm, can I actually move through from India? That will be a bit too far, won't it? Alright, we can use ships. Mm, how many can you transport? 73, 73 regiments. That's what, 80. 80 something. Let's merge them, move them here. You have a general. We'll, we'll um, put as many on the ships as we can. Okay, so. Now, the votes should be changing soon. Because the Emperor acted dishonorably. Yay! Almost have the vote. Almost. If we could improve our relations a little bit more. Oh, we can. Improve relations. Improve relations. And then we will only need to maintain this level. They don't trust the Palatinate now. Yeah, we can then attack the Palatinate and break the alliances and stuff. Though if we do that... Um, if we do that... Who would be called in? We would have Hess against us, which is unfortunate. Uh, Hess, who do you hate? Hess hates... Um, Minster. If I attacked Minster, Hess would not join me. Alright, multiple wars, that's the problem. Never mind, never mind. Yeah, we lost Prague, but that's temporary. I suppose I could uh, enable the fort in Treviso. We have three votes now, but they have four. Um, admin points for Papal Influence, yes please. So... We have relations with Pomerania because we're in the same war, right? Are we in the same war? No, we're not. Who are you see? Oh, that's Brandenburg, of course. But our relations with Pomerania are maxed, so we cannot do much more. Relations with Hess are maxed, and we still don't have the vote. I need to find a way to make Hess and Palatinate hate each other. Otherwise, there's, there's not much I can do. Maybe if I... 
Maybe I could get another ally. No, no, I don't think I could. Maybe if I humiliate the Palatinate or something like that. You know, make them lose stuff. Oh, right, my Diplo rep is about to increase. That could help. Right, let's let's uh, move our troops. Let's move our troops. Get on the boat, as many as you can. And the boats will go around and around. Get some supplies here. And... And move to Italy. And then up here. Let's hope you can survive it. You should be able to. Uh, grain, sure, why not? So, diplomatic reputation plus 76. Our diplomatic reputation is 7.6. So we'll get plus 20 when overextension is done. And we'll also get some from legitimacy. We should have to vote. We should have to vote. Once the cores are done. Romania still loves me, but they also like Palatinate a little bit. Yeah, truth with Orissa, it's not our primary concern right now. Hmm. Oh, what happened? Did they bestow Imperial Grace on them? Seems like it. Shit. They have full relations now. Oh, I think I have to attack the Palatinate and just make them, you know, disappear. I will fully commit to doing this. I will commit to this so fully that I will ask Ryazan for military access and move all my troops from Asia. All of them. Well, maybe not all of them. We need to leave some just in case we get a rebellion. Almost all of them. Mm, I need to be doing the shift movement because some of them are black flagged and they might march into some different territory. Okay, move. We will be beating Palatinate until they can take no more punishment. Uh, expand trade company. Um, nope. Not this time. Whoops, we got a rebellion. Okay, you can deal with it. You have a general. Mm. Here is not that bad. So I'm not gonna make him a general. No, not this time. How did the Palatinate get so good relations with everyone? They must have bestowed Imperial Grace. I really need to cut them down to size. How did they get points for Imperial, Imperial Grace? Okay, cores are done. Which means more Diplo rep. Everything will be well. Okay, uh, we do have three diplomats now. Pardon, who, do you, who else do you hate? You hate Bavaria. If I attack Bavaria... They would not join. Mm. Thuringia would join. Thuringia is not an elector. Okay, so we will attack Bavaria next. I will get to 100% war score and not... Mm, and not end the war. And then attack. Some more conversions, yes. Crimea exists. I thought I annexed them. Oh no, there's one province. Alright, you go deal with the rebels. I am curious how this will pan out. I mean, normally I wouldn't be bothering with this. We could just. With the same effort, we could conquer all of the Ming. But, um, yeah, that's the gimmick. We're doing the HRE thing as the Ottomans. Um, local unrest. Mm, 
Right, our subjects are doing a good job, actually. I could just dismantle the Empire. Well, not directly, but... Uh, it's enough if, uh, It's enough if some nations exist. And I vassalize electors. Hmm. I think if I attack Bavaria and the Palatinate refuses to answer the call, they will get another malice, dishonorable emperor. And they hate Magdeburg as well, and if I then attack Magdeburg, Hess. We are allied with Hess, which will be a slight problem, slight drawback, but um, not a big thing really. Right. And it's time to end the episode. Yeah, so I will try to regain the Emperor title in the next one. Palatinate has actually... Well, they, they are holding strong. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.